the Pyrenees. 430 kilometers of wild and raw mountains. Pure nature is the absence of man. And that's what I was looking for when I decided to cross them entirely. And I would find some of the most intense wilderness experiences of my life. Buenos dias de Andorra and welcome to episode number 3 of my road to Lisbon. Today is day number 33 and two days ago I left the Mediterranean Sea and now I'm here on my first high pass in the Pyrenees. And it is snowing! Yay! Believe it or not it's quite cold up here so let me go down into Andorra first and then I will introduce you what to expect in this video. So see you down in Andorra! That was a very nice descent and now I reached already my stay for the night here in La Masana and now it's also a bit warmer so I can introduce you what awaits you in this video. I think this chapter will be a very very unique adventure because I mean it's already November and I want to cross the whole Pyrenees so I think the nature will be a mix of late fall and the beginning of winter with some snow coming in from time to time and I think um, I hope I can capture a lot of cool cool nature on the way. And I want to focus again on the wide stretches, so every time I go away from the beaten path, I want to do it as often as possible, and that's the part that I want to focus the video on. I made a few adjustments to my setup. I, from now on, I carry a lot more gas with me and also two emergency meals, and just a lot, of, a lot more food in general, so that I can be very independent, just in case if I don't find food on the way, and that I can always extend my wide stretches. Tomorrow, I'll make a first attempt to go away from the beaten path, and got a feeling for the wild Pyrenees so I want to try to climb two passes in one day and also do some wild camping on the way and yeah let's see how that goes. With that being said grab yourself some chips or some ice cream make it comfortable for you and enjoy how I fight myself through these hard conditions in a very challenging mountain range here in the Pyrenees. Getting ready for the second climb of the day. 1000 high meters to my wild camping spot.
What a great place to wake up for my birthday. Yay! These are the places that I love so much. There's no humans even close to here. And the route that I'm going today is, is very promising as well. It's gonna lead me over a long stretch above 2300. It's gonna be nice. Seriously, that was the best birthday present I could give to myself. That road was probably the best road on the whole trip. So beautiful. It just kept getting better and better. Yeah, now I'll make a, a break before it goes all the way down into the valley. And then there's a bit of up and down left until I reach my destination for the night. Sun is coming out in a minute again. Don't know what to say, it's just so beautiful. Again, I arrived at the pass after sunset and will be riding into the dark. But man, a hell of a day and definitely one of the highlight sections and that for my birthday. I loved it. Super nice. Yay! I have the feeling that the next three days will be absolutely spectacular. Yesterday I created a three days track over the heart in the center of the Pyrenees together with a local guy um, Ivan who hosted me yesterday, thanks Ivan, and we created this amazing remote stretch of mountain bike passes that I'm gonna follow um, now. I will probably not see a lot of people in the next three days and I will stay in two very remote refugees every night, but I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing and if everything works out there should be a real highlight in two days riding over that very promising ridge so let's see how that goes and i will have to work hard for it with over 2000 high meters every day but yeah let's see how it goes
It's by far the hardest part of the day. I'm back down in the valley at 600 meters and from now on it's all the way up again up to 2000 for my next refugio. Um, that's basically the rhythm of the last couple of days which is pretty tough always in the afternoon. If I get rewarded with mornings like the last couple of days it's definitely worth it. And today I'm going up this beautiful canyon here. So let's go up one more time. Yeah. This one is closed. There is another one short by. I hope it's open, otherwise I have to camp and it's so cold. I hope it's open. Well, even for someone like me, this is the absolute minimum of standard that you can uh, look for. It's basically only a rooftop and a few walls. But I'm anyways happy to have it because I didn't want to put my tent into the strong wind outside. But the scenery here is incredible. The sunset and the colors were absolutely stunning. And tomorrow I'm gonna ride this ridge and man, this is gonna be one of the absolute highlights. I'm so sure about it. Also, I figured that I captured a lot too much spectacular footage from, from the Pyrenees here to put it in only one video. So I think I'll have to make two parts of it. And um, the first part, episode three, will end here. And the f episode number four will move on right from tomorrow morning until the Atlantic Ocean hopefully and also I'm gonna show you how I plan my routes especially here in the Pyrenees and how I find these shelters this is all gonna be in episode number four make sure to follow my channel I appreciate that also you can get the live updates on Instagram so you can also follow me there also you can check out episode one and two if you haven't done yet and then I'll see you in episode number four which will come out in a few days see you guys and good night